everyone. So it is wood cutting day today. I am doing some fire smarting. So if you haven't heard of fire smarting before, that is basically clearing a kind of making a buffer in between your property and like combustible buildings and all that. And um, the forest in case a fire comes through wildfire, um, which can come raging through here. We've had some significant ones in the past, not around here, luckily, but it is definitely a possibility. So I've been meaning to do this for years. I cut a few trees last summer, but uh, typical, typical thing when you live out in the boonies and you have a lot of work to do, you don't finish all the jobs because other stuff comes up. And so I cut down a couple trees uh, in behind here last year to clear it out. So what you want to do is cut down like the evergreen trees. So I'm cutting down a bunch of the birch or the um, spruce trees here, leaving the birch and poplar up because uh, those are uh, good for wildfires. Actually, they kind of slow down the fires. So, um, but the evergreens of those are like highly flammable trees. So I'm going to cut a bunch of them down in about a hundred feet buffer from my place. I'm going to really clear that out as much as I can and um, possibly as much as 300 feet is what is suggested by the fire smarting experts. <laughs> my glove have fun. And um, so that's my plan not only to cut the trees but to do uh, clean all the leaf litter and all the dead fall on the ground because that's another source of fuel. I aim to get a lot of this cutting done in the next couple weeks because you can see it is winter again. My wood pile is now full of snow again. We had a, it was all dry. It was beautiful yesterday. We had no snow and then this happened overnight, but it's actually good because it's great weather to cut wood. There's no bugs or flies out. And it's a little bit messy, but you know, you don't get too hot. You don't overheat, so that's good. You can see some of my firewood. I'm putting it down. That's the pile I'm starting right there. So that's my green stuff that'll be, there, it's at the back of the shed because it'll be there for a couple of years, so till it dries out. <laughs> Close enough? Um, yeah, it'll be there until it dries out. So, and then with the brush, I can't figure out the camera. <laughs> the brush right there, I am going to haul over to my burn barrel. And um, because it's so nice now, I probably don't have to burn in the burn barrel. It's so nice, I mean, so cold and snowy and wet that I'm just gonna have a big, massive pile. And I'm going to start burning, uh, just chucking them in there. It'll burn a lot faster. Got myself a burn permit yesterday, so um, it's all good to go. All legit. And um, just got to keep burning. And it's going to smoke like crazy because it is fresh, you know, uh, leaves and needles and stuff. So, and it's green. So it's going to smoke like the dickens. This is all the stuff I cut last year. And you can see how far I got. I cut it down. I was pretty proud of myself. And then I quit. And I found better things to do. But it still has to be done. So there's like... One, two, three. I need to cut some down here. You can see these right here. I started on. You can see that pile. Can you see that one over there? Uh, yeah, that thing right there. That pile. <laughs> that is a pile of brush that I piled up. I raked it all up last year. There's a couple piles over there, actually. Um, you can see I started both of those, but didn't get very far with them. So this year... Now that I've cleared out some trees, I can drag the quad back here, or drag the trailer with the quad back here, and load it up, and then haul it all over to the burn pile. So I'm going to be doing nothing but burning this weekend. Isn't that exciting? So exciting. Okay, I better go do some more work. I'm stalling here because I, it's hard work. These uh, freshly cut trees are very heavy. <laughs> when wood is green, it's very heavy, in case you didn't know.
Well, that was a good workout. That was just the start of it. This is the easy part, knocking down the trees. The tougher part is um, bucking them up and uh, lifting them. That's a harder job. So I am using a Husqvarna 445. Um, I quite enjoy this saw. I used to have, I know there's like Husky and steel people and they're on, seem to be on one or the other side. Um, I used to have a steel and I did not enjoy it. It was a nightmare and I hated it and I wanted to throw it off the roof because it just never worked for me properly. This one is, I've had this one a few years now and it works pretty good. I um, try and keep it maintained and keep the chain sharp. It's getting a little dull now after probably me cutting into the dirt so many times. I know people are going to be like, don't cut into the ground. I don't know, but what are you going to do? see why uh, we need berm permits for this 
creates quite a bit of smoke and uh, if some passersby on the highway saw this they may um, call in the fire department and say hey there's a fire over there but there's not just some brush burning better go and finish up my burning and stack some more wood and then I'm gonna call it quits for a day because it has been oh a whole afternoon of this so I'll be back at it tomorrow I think I need a bit of a rest and maybe some Advil now for a while <laughs> to ease those sore muscles but um thanks for watching and um I want to thank everybody who is new to the channel who has subscribed <laughs> the fire gets raging oh I better move my quad <laughs> There, parked a little too close for the uh, fire. I was just dropping off the brush. So, thank everybody for stopping by and watching. And um, for those new subscribers who have come to the channel via other channels who have given me little shout outs, which is awesome. And um, I really appreciate it. So, um, I hope uh, you enjoy your time here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. be a lot more cut out for heavy heavy wooding heavy wooding heavy wo <laughs> god where was i going with that i just get talking and talking i really want to thank y'all for stopping by and y'all <laughs> thank y'all for stopping by